Hey, this is Mike with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Today I want to show you how you can set up a calendar in Microsoft Outlook and share that content with your colleagues so that they know what your schedule is and they know when you're busy so it's easier to schedule meetings uh, for a whole group of people. So here I am uh, in a web browser and I'm just going to go to my.wm.edu. So once you're here, You'll notice that I've got some options here um, in the middle of the page, Banner, Blackboard, and Outlook. Outlook is one of them. I'm going to choose Outlook here. Now, you may need to log in. As you can see, I'm already logged in. Um, so here I am in Outlook, and I've got this menu bar on the side, on the left-hand side. I can go from my mail to my calendar, and I'll click on this calendar application here, uh, the second one on the, on the left. And that brings up my calendar, and you can see I've already got some things in my calendar here. And let's say that I'm teaching Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 p.m., and I want to schedule that for the entire semester. So let me show you how to do that. So I can go to any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, and I'll click on this September 1st, Wednesday, and I teach from 3 p.m. to uh, 3.50 p.m., for example. So I'll go ahead and I'll click my mouse right in here where it says 3 p.m. And you'll see there's 3 p.m. September 1st. And I'll choose that. And it automatically pulls up a calendar event. So I can fill out this little information here. But instead, if you notice on the top right, uh, I've got this view event, this double arrow. And if I click on that, it'll open up into a full page view so I can see all the different options. So here's where I can do things like add a title. So I will say, uh, let's say that I'm teaching an English class, English 101. I can invite attendees here if I want, um, or I can search for a room or location. So I'll search for a room, and let's say I'm teaching it in Washington Hall, Washington 201. And now here are some other things that I can do. If you'll notice, I can choose repeat. And right now it says repeat never. And I will click on the arrow here to choose repeat daily. And now I can choose how many days it repeats. So I'm going to say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I can say when I want it until. So December 1st, 2021 will take me through the end of the semester. So that's perfect. And now I will go ahead and hit save. And now all of those meeting times will be filled out and I won't have to do it every single day. And I'll click on save. And now you'll notice there's that English 101, English 101. Oh, and you'll notice I did the wrong thing. I chose everything except Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I messed up. That's a good opportunity to fix things. So I'll choose one of the ones that I messed up. See, here's a Thursday and I don't teach on Thursdays and I'll click on that. And I'll expand this again. And now I will choose edit at the top left. And watch this event, this and following events, all events in the series. And I'll choose all events in the series. OK, and now I will say repeat weekly. And now instead of messing things up, I will uncheck Sunday. I will check Monday. I will uncheck Tuesday. I will check Wednesday, I will uncheck Thursday, I'll check Friday, and I will uncheck Saturday. And now I will say save. Now, I also only schedule it to meet for a half hour because it's in half hour increments, 3 o'clock to 3.30. I'm going to choose 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, one hour. Um, and that's all I need to do to fix things. And I'll hit save. And now it says, do you want to edit the series? I'll say save. And then that's it. And don't worry about other people being able to see your calendar. They will only be able to see when you're busy. They won't be able to see what it is that you're doing. OK, so let's say I want to meet with a couple of colleagues. How do I check and see what their schedule looks like? I go to Add Calendar. And I can add from the directory. Notice here on the left-hand side. And now I can enter the, a person's name or email address. So let's say I want to see when Emily Wilcox is available. I can put in her username and choose that. 
and I can add that to people's calendars if I want and I'll say add and now let's say I wanted to add Sasha Prokhorov as well I can choose that and I'll say add perfect so now I've added those people and now I can check and see when those people are available and you'll notice that those um, names are checked and I can uncheck them and I can recheck them and I can see some I can only see that they're busy uh, but I can find a time when all of us can meet and then I can schedule that meeting and I can request them to join so how do I request them to join a meeting let's say I wanted to have a meeting on uh, Thursday September 9th so I'm here in September and Thursday September 9th at 11 a.m. it looks like we're all free so I'll click on that time and now I like to expand it uh, but I don't have to but I'm gonna go ahead and expand it and I'll say test meeting and now I will invite attendees and now I can type in EEW for Emily Wilcox and I can type in AXP for Alexandra Prokhorov and it will tell me that everyone is available and I can then expand the meeting to be an hour long it says everyone is still available uh, and that's it I can tell um, the calendar where I'd like the meeting to be if I want it to be over zoom I can add my zoom information here and now that's a zoom link uh, and that's all I need to do I'll hit send and they will get an email saying that they have been invited to attend this meeting uh, that is how I both fill out my schedule so that people can find me and how I can find other people.